Are you matte, cool, collected, confident, or luminous, radiant, and luminous? <laughs> That's the question we have to ask ourselves today with the two new releases from e.l.f. Cosmetics. They've taken the poreless putty primer, or as they call it, the primer that broke the internet, and come out with two new versions, the matte putty primer and the luminous putty primer. We're at my sister's new apartment, and today we're gonna test these three against each other to see what the difference really is. Stay tuned. television viewers my name is Nick thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for a poreless putty primer showdown but you might be thinking hold up Nick where are you this is my sister Melanie's new apartment she just moved to Los Angeles hi Melanie hi. she got this place temporarily for the first few months of her stay here so she moved in this weekend and we're about to go see little women but I thought first I would make her sit quietly while I shoot this video is that okay Melanie yes she said it's fine Melanie do you use any primer you use foundation no you Usually I just use a concealer. Do you put it on with your fingers? I put the, under my eyes I'll use a, um, like a, what's it called, a sponge. Oh, a Maybe blender? Sponge. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's take a look. I've been using the Poreless Putty Primer for a hot minute because I found it like the other week. Nope, I found it a few months ago and don't wear foundation every day either, but I just wanted something to fill in my pores before I put powder on and it was doing a great job. I knew about it because Jeffree Star, Melanie, do you know who Jeffree Star is? Yeah, very controversial. He's a controversial YouTuber. He compared the Poreless Pro Putty Primer to the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and said that it was even better, so it broke the internet. The beauty community was shook. Melanie's gonna be on camera for the whole thing. Cool. Here's my Poreless Putty Primer as of now. Can we see it? It's a little bright. Oh, there we go. I've been taking little gouges out of it. I've been using my little spatula. Let me see the spatula. Um, this is from a different product. This is from my I Do Care moisturizer or whatever, but I've been using it to just scrape off a little bit like this. All I need every day for the poreless putty primer, that's why I love it, is you only need like this tiny amount for your whole face. So this lasts forever. Oh, wow. The original poreless putty primer talks about having like squalene in it and you apply it, wait 30 seconds, and then apply your foundation. And it gives a really nice natural smooth kind of finish but I'm interested to see what they consider the matte and luminous because elf with their luminous things Melanie you know what they say just sparkles it's just too glittery yeah here's the luminous one in the pan do you see any glitter there I see a nice kind of shimmery and see like a nice shine on it it seems to be like a golden color it says the shade is universal glow so it's kind of golden oh yeah I see glitter in there can you see yeah, 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 now you can see it. Melanie, do you want to come do the honors of scraping it? Sure. Okay, go for it. Ooh. <laughs> that was fun. Definitely fun. I always wanted to be the person who gets to smear makeup. Yeah, Melanie's always said that when you see pictures. In magazines. Of the crumbles of eyeshadows. I used to love that too at Youngblood. Before I get started, I'm going to apply my watermelon glow. I just let Melanie try this for the first time. Did you like it? So nice and refreshing. It smells so much like watermelon that it feels like it should be sticky. It and does. then it feels so hydrating on yes. the face. It smells amazing. Okay, so I'm going to do luminous on this side and we'll do matte on this side. Is that fun? Yeah. This side is luminous. Oh, Melanie has this huge mirror right here, which is so great. I normally wouldn't use something luminous because I feel like it will accentuate the texture of my acne scars, but whatever. Those are fading a little bit, but yeah. they're kind of permanent. It looks great. Thank you. Melanie's does too. She's been using rosehip oil and what else, Melanie? I also have been using Pixie's Glow Tonic. Oh yeah, okay, so that's the primer alone on my luminous side. Do you see anything? Oh, yeah. yeah, it just looks a little highlighted. A little bit of a glow. It does look nice on its own. I could wear that on its own. Yeah. Do you think it would look shimmery? Let me look at it up close. I don't really see a shimmer, but after like 13 seconds, I would look greasy, mm. probably. Speaking of greasy, let's take my infallible Total Cover Foundation, which I love, but it's old. This is from like 2017. That's fine though, there's no air in this tube, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm most excited about Little Women. I want to see Emma. What's her name? Hermione. Emma Watson. Is that her name? I think so. Yeah, I always think it's something else. Hermione Granger. Yeah. Name. Hermione Granger. That's how she says it. Oh, wow. Melanie. How's it working? I think it looks really good. What do you guys think? Look. Oh, you can see it's a difference. Nice. Oh, yeah, it does look really nice. 
It's like a nice glowy base. Yeah. Mm, mm. It definitely looks luminous, you know, it doesn't look matte. I'm seeing a nice highlight on the cheekbone yeah. and on the forehead. I get like a tiny little bit of warmth from it because you can see my other side is like a little bit cooler and mm -hmm. more red. So I get a little bit of that sun-kissed feel. It's almost got a little bit of bronzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use this instead of a bronzer. I'm so pale. All right, that's a good first round. Let's scrape off some matte primer. I have some other matte products from e.l.f. Cosmetics, like their Howl and Clay primer, but it's like basically just got talc in it, so it's not that impressive. In fact, what do you think the ingredients are? Water, dimethicone, so that's a silicone. Glycerin, silica, so it's a silicone-based primer. There's lots of silicones. Okie dokie. I wonder how they make it matte. They put glycerin in everything. Yeah, I used to really be scared of glycerin, but now I'm like, whatever. I guess I don't care. Okay, here's the matte. Let's do a matte cream shave. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. A lot of people just use the backs of their fingertips for that, but I feel like that introduces bacteria into the jar. Alrighty, and this one is in the shade Universal Sheer. Squeep, squap, squabble, oops. Scombo, scoop them. <laughs> Melanie, I'm so excited that she moved out here because I previously had no family living in LA except for me. I this might be too much. California. Melanie couldn't handle one more New England winter and she said, bye. And I feel like I would like the matte one. Yeah. Oily skin. See, I like matte too because it will not stay matte very long on my skin, I feel. But at least I start from like a really shine free place. But I don't know. I mean, this doesn't look matte to me. <laughs> no. Does it? I still see like just as much. Maybe I I'm think wrong. It looks a little matte. Yeah, I'll dry. Oh, it's drying matte. down, I guess. And also, put when you put the foundation on, I bet you it'll look more okay. matte than the other side. Let's try. I wish I had a third side of my face to do the original. You can do mine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me dab it on for you. Yeah, I think it looks matte. Oh yeah, you're right. I misspoke. I judged too quick. It does say to put the primer on and then wait 30 seconds to put the face on, so I guess that's like it drying mm -hmm. down. Yeah, I see matte, because this is really luminous, mm -hmm. and this is really matte, yeah, as we I keep saying. Yeah, I can see the warmth on the other side from the luminous Yeah, side. I definitely, you can see it on the camera too. This side looks more warm and glowy. This side looks a little more neutral, maybe more natural too. Yeah, the skin looks a little bit more polished, I would say, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. But both work for me. I mean, maybe I wouldn't wear this because of how oily I get throughout the day and this just will kind of offset that for a little bit. Again, I love mattifying products, but I also think this one is more similar to the first kind of putty primer. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they phase out the poreless putty primer and it's just the matte and the luminous because kind of like people will constantly, I already know from working in makeup, every day you would be trying to explain the difference of the three things to people and eventually this one just doesn't exist anymore. How about that? Melanie, what do you use from e.l.f.? I use this product from the showcase it for the kids. This is the blemish control green. primer. Is it green? It is green. I think it has like a little bit of color correction in it. Yeah, because I used to have like a redness reduction one, but they now call it that. Yeah. They changed all their names. I really see the difference between these two. Don't you? Look at my forehead. Like the highlight in this spot is soft. Mm -hmm. And then here's more hot. Mm. Oh. Love okay, it. Melanie, what foundation do you use? Do you have any? Um, you can just put concealer on your whole face yeah. too. I'll wash this sponge. Oh, hello television viewers. <laughs> this is... That's your concealer? It's a dark circle eraser. Come back a little. Oh, there you go. That's a cult favorite. I was just reading about that on a list of top 100 under eye concealers. I use it under my eyes and I kind of do some around my nose too sometimes. Smart. I was looking in the mirror and I really like both sides, but I also think I like the idea of using a primer to give the finish you want rather than like a shimmery foundation or something. Mm. So that, that looks less natural. Show them the scrape. Yes. Look how cute that is. Ooh, the little face. So, I'm gonna just put it where I have a lot of pores, but. Everyone says that Timothy Chalamet looks so hot in this. Is it blending seamlessly? Mm -hmm. It's nice and smooth. I want to get some popcorn and I want to get some gummies mm. and I want to get yum. I wish they sold like tubes of cookie dough at the movies still. What other snacks do you think they might have? Well, we're going to Arclight Hollywood, hashtag Arclight Hollywood, and they have all the usual stuff. They also have caramel corn that's really good. Mm. They have a good candy selection. Or you could stop at like CVS or something before to sneak it in. Let us know in the comments below, do you bring outside candy into the movie theaters? Because that's illegal and you should call the police <laughs> on yourself right now. I carry a big bag. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why I have always this huge sweatshirt on with stretched out pockets. 
I wish I never found this sweatshirt because that was <laughs> the only thing I ever wear. So I'm just blending now. Melanie, you're pro. I feel like an MUA. <laughs> Mwah. You guys should watch Glow Up on Netflix. It's a British competition reality show where these like young people are like makeup artists and makeup artist competition and it's so good. It's like eight episodes, maybe ten. Um, and they're each 22 minutes or a half hour long. Anyway, we watched it the whole time I was in Palm Springs. Oh, and nice. Everyone got into it. You know? <laughs> I was the only one who knew makeup, but it's like that shows that's a universal appeal. Do you think that concealer works well as an all over yeah, base? I think so. Yeah, it looks really natural. Seamless. I feel like I look more bronze in the mirror than I look very washed out in the camera. Yeah, that's just the way it it's is. It's just Hollywood. That's just ho <laughs> that's the business. Mm. Wow, beautiful. Let's do a model duo. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at us. <laughs> we look like Mary Kate and Ashley if yeah. one of them <laughs> had hormone <laughs> replacement therapy. <laughs> Twins. Cool. Thanks guys for tuning in for our Primer Putty Showdown featuring my sister Melanie who now lives here. You're gonna see her in more videos because I, get this, got all of the ingredients necessary to ha cast a spell for a wonderful new year. Ooh, so we're gonna we do that. something witchy and you're gonna have to watch it. So make sure you let us know which of these primers you would like to use first. I'll put shopping links in the description. Most importantly though, give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more Primer Showdowns or if you wanna see more Melanie and my videos but most most importantly make sure you click that subscribe button right down here that way you never miss new videos from me i upload two new ones every week so make sure you turn on your notifications you guys are all the greatest thank you for getting primered and perfectioned and poreless with us today i will see you next time bye